Is picanha the most underrated cut of beef? It is incredibly popular in Brazil, referred to as the sirloin cap in the United States and the rump cap in the United Kingdom. The secret to picanha's great flavor is its layer of fat as well as the very tender muscle meat as that area of the animal is very inactive, doesn't do too much work, therefore the meat is almost as tender as a filet mignon yet it has more flavor. The cut is actually right behind the filet mignon, uh, the filet being near the upper back of the cow with the picanha right behind the tenderloin in front of the tail. But here in America, butchers trim off the fat with this low fat craze being still in effect. It's absolutely crazy and I find it appalling that they cut off the most nutritious and flavorful part of the animal. On Frankie's Free Range Meat, uh, we have sirloin cap, aka picanha. Uh, here we have a nice almost orange one and here we have a yellow one. Uh, this is how you guys would end up getting it if you ordered it from us. Uh, this one is 3.5 pounds, this one is 3.2 pounds. So there is a little bit of a variance in size, uh, but we are selling packages you know, that are approximately 12 pounds. Believe it or not guys, I have never had picanha, so I am really looking forward to this. Take a look at that. We have a beautiful layer of fat and an awesome amount of marbling throughout this piece of meat. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the best things I've ever tasted. What you actually see a lot of the time is they cut the picanha into steaks. Uh, so I cut it in half and you know we have a nice amount of marbling throughout the meat. So let's throw this on the grill and I can't wait. We're gonna do fat side down first, just get it a little bit crispy, you know, get the flames up a little bit, then we'll cook the other side. I actually cut those pieces in half again, uh, just so it'll cook a little bit faster. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt on each side while it's cooking. Now ideally you would season the meat about an hour before cooking it, but we all know that doesn't happen all the time. We'll season the other side too. What you don't want to do is just like put salt on it right before you're about to eat it. That, the outside will taste too salty and the inside won't be salty enough. Looks good. Beautiful amber brown crust on all these steaks. Even though I left these on the grill for about 10 minutes, you know, they were straight out of the fridge, so probably very cold inside. Uh, we're gonna try it anyway. I mean, this I would say is a blue rare. And so, so much for the medium rare stuff, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's meant to be. I think this one, is actually going to be on the more medium side, so let me oh, cut this one open. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's more medium rare. Uh, this one's definitely more medium rare. You know, a little bit of pink around the edges. So we'll try that piece first. I would say you know this piece is a pretty accurate representation of what most people would eat. Here we go, the piece of rare picanha. I just want to take one more bite before I, I give you guys an opinion. Let me get some with the fat cap. Here we have a piece with the nice orange fat cap on the outside. This is phenomenal. This is like, you know, those descriptions I said at the beginning 
Oh, it's as tender as filet and it has flavor from the fat. I was just talking out my ass, but it's true. This is really tender and it has a lot of flavor. I'm just trying to determine if it's as tender as filet or just slightly less. The muscle meat is definitely as tender as filet, but the fat cap and that part of the tissue is a little bit chewier. So when you combine the two, it doesn't seem as tender, but it really is. These Brazilians, man, they're hiding secrets. I can't believe I've never tried this before. This definitely ranks up with my favorite cuts of beef. I would say probably tied with ribeye. I can't think of something that I enjoy more on its own, you know, without adding something to it. Like I'm not basting this in butter or adding a sauce to it. It's really delicious on its own because of the fat in the muscle, the fat cap, you know, the flavor of that specific part of the animal. It's really amazing. On Frankie's Free Range Meat, uh, we will be offering like 12 or 13 pounds for 130 to 140 dollars. I am not sure on the specific prices uh, as I'm filming this video, but definitely go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com if you want to try a 100% grass-fed and grass-finished picanha package. Thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, share the video if you can. As I said, frankiesfreerangemeat.com, high quality, nutrient dense animal foods, at an affordable price. You can also go to frankiesnaturals.com, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day. I'm gonna go get fat off this uh, plate of picanha if you guys don't mind.